What's up YouTube? You're checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my review of the Bo Chiang S1 quadcopter. Now I'm hearing that in Chinese the J makes a CH sound. So if that's true, then this company is pronounced Bo Chiang. So this is the quadcopter here, the S1, and this thing is pretty awesomely designed. I really like the way that this thing is designed. It looks like a Latrax Alias clone, but the canopy is rather unique and the props are rather unique. You can see that the canopy comes down all the way over the halfway over the legs it covers. So pretty unique uh, canopy here. I really like that. I think that's awesome. But underneath it looks just the frame looks just like the Latrax Alias and the uh, canopy actually looks like it would fit, but it would fit backwards. So the way it's situated with the two screws here and the one in the back, it would probably fit the X6058. I have not tried it, but it looks like it fits, fits perfectly on the X6058. Um, this thing flies really nice. However, it flies different. So it doesn't fly the same um, as the quads that I'm used to. This thing does have very deep pitch and it does have a really fast, nice yaw rate. But when you're flying, giving full input on the pitch and roll, it doesn't react immediately. So not that it's not non-responsive because it does respond. It, it's just a gradual pitch um, transition. It takes a little while to transition to get into full pitch. So uh, when you're flying it, uh, it, it, it flies really fast, but it just takes a while to get into full pitch to uh, get the, the maximum speed. So, but you really can't tell when you're flying back and forth, but where you can see it is when you're trying to bank turns. This thing doesn't bank turns very well because of that. It does have a really nice yaw rate though, so you can get around with it in a small space. You can fly it around indoors because of how fast the yaw rate is, but you can't really do banking and funneling. It doesn't funnel very well. The pitch isn't deep on funnels. If you guys know a little about me and my funnels, what I like, the funnels have to be deep. Um, <laughs> to me, it's not really a good funnel if you're, uh, you hardly have any pitch and you're just spinning around. I think that's just spinning around in a circle, but that's what this thing does. It just holds a little bit of the pitch and it spins around for funnels. So, and that's the thing when, even if you uh, hold it for a while and you get into deep pitch, once you start to yaw, it doesn't hold the pitch. So if you try to do banking turns, it'll probably do it, but it'll be a wide banking turn. So when you try to do funnel turns and all, as soon as you start to yaw, it loses the pitch. So you're going to do some wide swinging turns. So it's best to just, yaw and then turn because the yaw is really fast so it took some getting used to that's not the way that i usually fly there's a lot of people out there that fly that way though but i'm a pitch flyer i like to do banking turns and uh, funnel turns so but it's a nice flyer though so uh, i ain't mad at that you can fly it really well um outdoors this thing is uh, mainly an outdoor quad it's pretty large to be flying indoors the lighting on it is really nice. Uh, just like most of the Latrax Alias clones, the lighting is really good. The LEDs on this are actual colored LEDs. As you can see, the lenses on the bottom are clear. So it has red in the back and blue in the front uh, for orientation. For those of you who are really picky about that, you can. that's one plus about it. It has red in the back where it's supposed to be. And the lighting is really good. It's really good. So it's a really nice night flyer. Uh, you can uh, maintain orientation very easy. So uh, I really like the color. I think this does come in another color. But uh, so far I've only seen. I think there's an orange color and this green color. I really like the green color. Not a huge fan of green. But this looks really nice. A lot of you guys out there really love green. And I really like the black. So green and black is a nice color. It has the nice little rubber landing feet on the bottom. Uh, just like the Latrax alias. 
and the battery bay is nice on this it comes with a 650 milliamp hour battery and it's this size here but you can fit the flat long batteries from the Latrax alias or the WL Toys V636 Skylark it actually fits in there the way that the battery bay is situated you can get these in there as well so as you can see that fits in there this is the 780 milliamp hour battery from the Skylark so you can fly it with that a uh, pretty nice flight times with it with the Skylark battery you're probably going to get about uh, upwards of 10 minutes with the stock battery uh, I was getting around uh, upwards of eight to nine minutes with it um, uh, really nice long flight times with it uh, due to the geared motors this thing is very quiet a really quiet quadcopter it doesn't have um, ball bearings in there you can see it has bushings I don't know if you it's showing up on camera well but it doesn't have any ball bearings but it flies really quiet so um, I think that's probably the, the pinions in there on the gear teeth are probably plastic I found that plastic pinions usually make the aircraft fly a little more quiet um, but this thing rivals the the Latrax Elias and the U807 and how quiet it flies so it flies really quiet but when you pick up speed it does you do hear a little sound that it makes um, a plasticky sound I can't really describe it you'll probably hear it when I fly because I'm gonna fly this outdoors uh, for the flight demo and so there's it's a little rattling sound when you're flying fast when you fly by but for the most part this thing flies really quiet um, it's it feels really light compared to the Latrax Elias and some of the other clones but I don't have a, a scale to weigh it so I was unable to weigh it um, really nice fly this is it did mine did come with a camera unfortunately the camera doesn't work I've tried several times to get footage with it with the camera uh, I believe it's the two megapixel camera so it's the HD one but no footage comes out of mines uh, no good footage anyway I've tried to record with it in the the a picture is distorted well discolored it comes out pink for some reason someone suggested that I reformat the memory card and try it again I did that and it still comes out bad uh, as you will see in the uh, flight footage well I'm not gonna put the footage up there of the from the camera but I did you will see in the flight footage that I did attempt to record again with it and it didn't work it didn't come out um, so and I thought that was odd that this is the camera here the camera actually has a downward slant to it and you can't land this without landing on top of the camera so there's not enough clearance down there for a camera anyway I don't think that this uh, should be geared towards being a camera quad this is more of a sporty flying quad um, but they did include a camera and the camera doesn't it doesn't have clear enough clearance for it so you probably will see in the footage I bounced it off the camera throwing it on the ground forgetting that it didn't have enough clearance uh, for the camera to be safe to drop the uh, aircraft but it this is the transmitter it does have dual rates so no three rates just two and the low rate yaw is really nice and the pitch is really docile but the yaw is pretty fast on low rates and then when you go to high the yaw does change and the yaw gets faster and the pitch uh, gets deeper and so it does effectively have headless mode on here and it has one key return this is the button here for headless and one key return I'm not really a big fan of that uh, other not really using it for practical uses or anything I just like playing around with it sometimes just seeing how long you can yard and fly it around before it loses the bearing um, so it's not really fun for me to have headless if the yaw is not fast but this yaw is pretty fast so um, whatever <laughs> you press this button one time to get into headless mode you hold it down to do the one key return and it loses its bearing actually once you land the aircraft so if you set the heading 
and, and the heading's facing away from you, facing in one direction, once if you crash or land it for whatever reason, it switches the heading to whichever way that it's facing when it lands. So you, that's one thing to be aware of. Um, this button here does the flips. It flips really nice. It recovers from the flips nice. It flips with the camera on it. And it recovers nice with the camera on it too. No problems with flipping by, uh, with this thing. This is the rates button. Uh, you actually s start off on 50% rate. And when you hit this, you go to 100% rate. This is the toggle the lights on and off. This is the start and stop video. And this is the take a still picture. The stills haven't worked for me at all. It, they didn't even show up on the memory card. So I don't know what that's about. But it has all the trim buttons here. But this uh, this throttle trim here, I don't know. It does beep when you hit it up and down, but it doesn't seem to do anything on the LCD screen. It does have an LCD screen to let you know uh, the lights don't flash or anything to let you know that you're taking a picture or a recording video. It actually shows up. There's a little icon that shows up on here for video and just constantly flash. And then when you hit the button to take a still capture, a little picture of the camera shows up on there. So it does take four AA batteries. And you don't have to have the screw in there to uh, have this thing locked tight. It's actually hard to pull off once you get it on there, but you can uh, get it back off um, with some force. Uh, pretty nice transmitter. It has really long range. The range is excellent on this. Even with the camera on, I was flying it up really high, trying to capture footage several times. I've flown it really high, and this thing doesn't miss a beat. It doesn't skip a beat. It just... Uh, Stays connected, uh, very responsive when it's far away, no delay or anything like that. So it has really nice range. It comes with an instructions manual. It's in full English, um, but there are some parts on there that um, might be a little confusing. Um, but for the most part, it's in nice legible English, though. Uh, some of the wording is uh, not good, I guess. It comes with an extra set of spare props, a full set. It comes with a USB charging cable, and it has a, a little uh, thing for the memory card to plug it into your computer. And a little red screwdriver, as you can see there. Um, so, and I really like these props, too. I think it's unique, the way the props look on it. Uh, really unique looking props. I like how low the shafts are on the props. They sit low. Um, that's probably what the sound is though. Um, maybe this thing touches or something when you're flying fast with it because it does make a little rattling sound when you fly by really fast. But uh, pretty awesome aircraft. Let's go check it out in flight. So I actually forgot to mention to you guys that it did come with a full set of uh, prop guards. And also I found in there some little landing gear for this so i thought that that was pretty weird to have some landing gear uh, for this type of aircraft that's a first let me see if i can get it installed on here so we can see how it looks <laughs> install a landing gear on here so so the camera would have clearance uh, with these installed so there's the landing gear there so looks pretty cool with the <laughs> landing gear on this type of aircraft so makes it look even more unique so let's go check it out okay so this is the outdoor demo of the Boching S1 we're using the stock transmitter. Pretty much no no wind out here, uh, so I figure it's safe to do this demo outdoors here. So I do have the camera attached. Really stable craft. So we're on low rates. This is the pitch on low rates here. And this is the yaw, so pretty nice yaw. 
Let's go to high rates. We're on 100% rates now. This is the pitch. You can see the pitch gets deeper as you hold it. So pretty nice pitch. See the forward flying pitch. So this thing pitches a lot. Get it back over here. This is the yaw. So pretty fast yaw. Really fast, y'all. But let's try to do some funnels. This is the best you can get on pitch with a funnel. And that's because it uh, doesn't hold the pitch uh, very well when you're uh, yawing with it. But when you're flying fast forward, it'll pitch, it'll hold the pitch and fly really fast. You can see this thing really moves fast. Has an excellent yaw read, so you can get it around in a small space. Let's check out the flips. It does flip with the camera on it. Nice flips. It recovers really well from the flips. Okay, so let's try headless mode. So it's in headless now. And the bearing, <laughs> I don't know what my bearing was set to on the headless mode. It was acting like that was my bearing that way, my heading. So let me unplug it. And face it towards this, these bushes over here when I plug it in. Face it straight ahead. Okay, so the bearing should be set that way now. Let's go back to high reads. And let's try headless again. Okay, so that's our bearing in front of us. And it's working. So this is left. And this is right here. So headless works. And let's try the one key return. Oops. Oops, I forgot. There's no clearance on the uh, bottom for the camera, so I just bounced it off the camera just now. <laughs> let's try that one key return again. Okay, it's all screwed up now. <laughs> I guess once you land it, it switches the heading to where, whichever direction you were facing when you landed. Some more funnels from it. Now let's try the cam. See if the camera works. Actually trying to start the video. Okay, the video is working now. It flashes on the transmitter to let you know when you're recording something. So I'm trying to get the horizon back there, the sun. Leaning back to try to get some of the uh, sky up there. Do a slow pan with it. So you can see no issues with uh, range with the camera on it. Pretty high up there with it. Try to get that bird over there. There's a bird flying that way. So let's bring it down. I generally don't fly this high. Wow, missed that bird up there. Try to get a still shot. Uh, 
actually let's stop the video and see if we can get a still shot okay hopefully everything came out hope that shows up on the uh, footage Things really stable a little forward drift on it right, let's get this camera off it so I can show you guys how it flies how sporty it can get okay we got the camera off it now on high rates with it now so you guys can yaw again the best the funnel we can do and the peach get, the pitch gets deeper of course when the camera is not on it oops so you can see it has anti-spin on it to the sun I can't see anything <laughs> well that's LVC pretty much showed you guys all that it can do though get a quick speed pass no, it's not at its full uh, potential so I'm going to just land it Actually, I'm going to catch it. And so that's it. The Bo Chiang S1. Thanks for watching.